Hello, I am Dr. Jack, and for this video, we will be focusing on nano CBD. It's been all the buzz in the whole cannabinoid world for quite some time now, and it mainly has to do with the natural properties of CBD or cannabinoids in general, and we'll get into all that here in the video. And this video will take a deeper dive into uh, the advantages, disadvantages of nano CBD, look at the safety, what to look for when you go out and look for a nano CBD product, as well as how it works and just kind of briefly touch on also how it's done or how it's made. So join me as we take a look at CBD that has been nano sized. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Dr. Jack, and this channel focuses on helping you live a healthier, happier, and wiser life through knowledge. And as always, please support the channel by liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell as well as sharing the videos if you find someone that can benefit from these videos. I can't believe it, but I'm actually close to 1,000 subscribers in the last five months. And so, you know, thanks for your support for all of you out there. I'll keep putting these out as long as you guys keep watching them, so. And for today's t-shirt, this is based on the Netflix series, uh, Cobra Kai, which is sort of a continuation of the original Karate Kid uh, movie series of those three movies, you know, with daniel Sun and Mr. Miyagi and things. So if you're at home, bored, and want to watch a great series, please check it out. It's very nostalgic, especially if you're watching this and you're in your 30s and 40s. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. So the reason I wanted to put out this video was because there has been a lot of questions directed at me lately where there's there's been some confusion as well as misinformation about nano CBD. And this all is timed around the release of Green Compass's nano um, jelly, basically. And it's a USDA organic certified nano jelly, and it uses the nanotechnology. And so I want to put this video out to just try and help um, answer and clarify some of those questions and misunderstandings that are out there. So first off, what is CBD? What is cannabidiol? It is one cannabinoid out of over 150 different ones within the cannabis plant. And things like THC, CBG, CBN, all of those are considered cannabinoids. And if you want to learn more about the cannabis plant, cannabinoids in general, then I will link above in the top left, or your top right corner, and down below in the description, the entire playlist. I've done several videos. It's uh, basically a free sort of educational course on um, cannabinoids in general. So feel free to check that out. I'll be referencing those videos throughout this video. So a couple of important properties to know about CBD is that it is hydrophobic. And what that means is that it does not mix well with water. And so kind of like oil and water, if you ever mix them together and how they just don't mix together and they just, you just see the oil kind of clump up and kind of separate out from the water. And it is also lipophilic, which means that it likes to dissolve inside of fat. Since you, we are made up of 60% of water and our entire digestive tract um, contains a lot of water, this is the reason why it is so difficult for CBD to absorb effectively into your system if you're taking it orally. And if you watch some of my other, uh, or if you watch my other video about the route of how to take CBD into your body, you know I kind of go through all the differences, advantages, disadvantages, onset, duration, all those things. And so feel free to check that out. But in general, if you are to consume CBD through your digestive tract, you only get on average about five to seven percent bioavailability. So what is bioavailability? Bioavailability is the portion of the substance that actually reaches your blood circulation and hits the target site to actually have an effect. So in the case of CBD, if you have a five to 7% on average bioavailability, that means anywhere from 93 to 95% of the CBD that you consume, if you're taking it through the digestive tract, is actually destroyed or never makes it into um, the actual target site for its effectiveness. And the reason is because of something called the first pass effect. And what the first pass effect is that it involves the liver as well as the um, lining of your gut wall. Anytime you consume something, it either does not absorb very well or it will have to pass through the liver and a lot of it gets destroyed. And as a matter of fact, some drugs um, on the market are destroyed to the point that they can only be given in IV form. And one of those drugs is like remdesivir, which is the medication given to people 
people that are very sick with COVID at this time. And so the whole goal is to try and bypass that first pass effect as much as possible. However, realize that anytime you consume something and it is going into or um, into your stomach, basically, there will be a first pass effect um, to a degree, no matter what. So enter nano size CBD. So what happens here is basically that what if we took, rather than having large oil droplets of CBD, we were somehow able to turn them into tiny little nanoparticles. And by nanoparticles, it's on the order of about 100 nanometer size um, CBD droplets. And just to give you an idea, one meter is 10 to the negative nine nanometers. And so it is extremely, extremely small. And what happens is that when you nano size the CBD particles, the absorption and digestion of them become easier. It becomes easier for them to kind of pass through the lining of the mucosa, uh, mucosa or the lining of the gut wall, and therefore more of, it, more of it will get into your circulation. And as a matter of fact, the minute you were to say consume a C nano size CBD jelly, it starts um, already absorbing inside of the oral mucosa or inside of your mouth. And the reason is that when you break it down to such tiny little particles, what happens is that the overall surface area of the CBD particles becomes greater. And therefore, there's a greater surface area for enzymes as well as tissue to basically interact with it. So how is it done? It's not magic, it's science. And so what they do is basically they have this kind of mixture of oil, water, CBD, and they add a surfactant to it. And in the case for the uh, CBD product that Green Compass has right now, that's nano size jelly or the nano size jelly, the surfactant they use is something called Quileia. I think I'm saying that right, Quileia. Quileia. And uh, so that is a special flowering plant that is uh, mainly found within Chile or Brazil. And they did all that because they uh, have all their products as USDA organic certified. And what the surfactant does is it keeps them from sort of clumping up, sticking together and things like that. Once you have that mixture together, what you do is you expose that mixture to a very powerful and intense um, ultrasound wave. And that is when the magic happens and the CBD is broken down to a nano sized particle. So what are the benefits of nano CBD, um, especially in sort of a jelly? Well, one of the big advantages is that it's easier to take, right? So rather than a CBD oil that you take sublingually, and I tell all my patients to hold it under their tongue for 60 to 90 seconds. And again, that reason is to try and avoid the whole first pass effect through the liver and the lining of the gut wall and have it absorb more underneath the, uh, the tongue or sublingually. By having this increased absorption, it also leads to more more consistent dosing. So if you watch my other video on the route of how to take uh, CBD, whether it's orally, sublingually, inhaling, what ends up happening is that if you were to take any substance, um, any type of drug or you know phytonutrient or what have you through the digestive tract, if you take it with a fatty meal, the absorption rate can vary anywhere from four to 14 times more. And so you have these huge sort of peak and troughs of the actual product within your bloodstream. And the the bioavailability naturally will go up as we discussed, that's the whole point of nano CBD. The bioavailability, when you break it down to a nano size particle, goes up by five to 10 times more. And also with that, as mentioned before, because when the minute it hits your mouth, it starts absorbing even within the mouth and the absorption rate is just increased throughout the entire digestive tract, what ends up happening is that the onset of action is also quicker. So as far as safety, what we know from the research is that it does appear safe. You know, realize that nanotechnology has been around for many decades and is actually used in a lot of different industries. Um, it's used in the pharmaceutical world quite extensively, as well as the cosmetic world and things like that. And it has been shown to be safe. Now, there is one caveat, and that is that the assumption is that if you were to nanosize the particles down to about 20 to 50 nanometers, 
and make it that small, what ends up happening is that you can get increased cell absorption and it, it can actually accumulate ultimately inside of organs and things. And that leads to inflammation as well as ultimately organ damage possibly. And so it is increasingly important and always important for you to research the CBD product you are consuming as well as research the company that you are purchasing it from. Um, I know that the CBD nano jelly that Green Compass makes is uh, well above that level and nowhere near 50 uh, or below nanometers. And realize that in the world of cannabinoids, there is no FDA regulation at this time. And so there's a lot of uh, shady products out on the market, if you will. You know, I mentioned before how the FDA and the WHO have conducted studies and found that anywhere from 70 to 90% of CBD on the market may not have the CBD that it states is in there or may have pesticide, fungus, mold, bacteria, or heavy metals within them. Know that a lot of companies also mainly use CBD isolate. Ideally, what you would go with is something like a CBD broad spectrum or um, the best would be like a full spectrum type product and that's to take advantage of the entourage effect. And again, I'm not gonna cover all that here for the sake of the length of the video. If you're interested in that, please check out um, the videos that I'll link above and below in regards to what the differences are between the isolate broad spectrum, full spectrum, and what exactly the entourage effect is. Um, but in short, it basically, the whole plant works better than the sum of its parts. And there was actually one study that showed that if you take a full spectrum CBD product, it actually may work up to four times better than taking an actual CBD isolate. And just as one example to kind of demonstrate why it's so important to kind of do your research and trust the company that you're purchasing it from, there was a study done by Leafly, which is a great website online um, in regards to cannabinoid education and information. And what they did was they looked at 47 different products that were on the market. And and this was everything from lip balm to tinctures to gummies to CBD water. Actually, no surprise that none of the CBD water um, was within 20% of their stated CBD. And some of them didn't even have any CBD inside of it. And the reason is that when you harvest the cannabis plant, the minute it is harvested, the degradation process begins. And so that's the reason why a lot of the CBD sublingual oil products, the tinctures, you'll see them inside a dark bottle to try and keep the UV light out. You know, if you're purchasing saying a bottle of quote unquote CBD water and it's in a clear bottle and it's been sitting on a shelf in a store, maybe in direct sunlight for God knows how long. And the things that accelerate degradation are um, UV light, as well as airflow, humidity, and temperature. And you also don't know, you know, what were the sh what was the shipping environment of that, you know, case of water that's sitting on the shelf? You know, was it inside of a truck, and, you know, in 100 degree weather and sat there for, you know, a week or so? All that will accelerate the, deg the degradation of any cannabinoid product products um, on an exponential level. And one other thing to kind of be on the lookout for is that some companies use what's called um, penetration enhancers to increase absorption of CBD. And that's something like ethanol or propylene glycol. And actually propylene glycol was named allergen of the year uh, by the American Contact Dermatitis Society. So steer away from that product. So my thoughts about the Nano CBD Jelly, I think it's great, you know, much like Ben and Jerry's, uh, the more options you have, the better it is. And I think that if you're going to consume CBD and you're going to consume it orally or through the digestive tract, then I do think that Nano CBD is the way to go due to the increased absorption as well as the bioavailability. However, if you're someone who's already taking CBD sublingually and you're getting good relief from it, then I would just leave well enough alone. Um, you know, if you want to try it, by all means have at it. But but uh, you know, why break something that isn't broken is my viewpoint on it. Or if you're someone that wants the convenience, maybe in the morning, some of my patients or a lot of my patients take um, their CBD uh, twice a day and at nighttime, perhaps consider taking the sublingual uh, CBD and a, in a full spectrum bottle. And maybe during the daytime when you're in a rush, trying to go to work or something, you know, you can take half or a whole CBD nano jelly since it's much more convenient to take and you don't need to sit there and hold it under your tongue and all those things. And that basically is a quick summary about nano CBD. I hope you found this information valuable. And if you did, again, please support the channel. And so until next time, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye. Pura Vida.